just shared with you the story of Camp Kesem, a place for kids who whose parents are dealing with cancer. And I'm joined now by Jackson Steele, who you met in the story, and also Katie Roth from Camp Kesem. Welcome to you both. Thank you. And Katie, let's start with you. How did you first get involved with Camp Kesem? I first got involved with Camp Kesem because my dad had cancer when I was little. And I was told about Camp Kesem from a friend at the University of Notre Dame who was involved in their Camp Kesem. And I decided that I wanted to get involved at Wisconsin. I looked into it and Wisconsin didn't have a Camp Kesem, so I decided to start one. And we've been on that journey ever since. Wow. And before Jackson went to camp, his parents say he was a bit troubled, but I'm sure there's so many different kinds of emotions that the kids arrive at camp with, fear, anger. And it seems like those are emotions that come out from both the campers and from the counselors during camp, and everyone learns something new. Tell me about that. Well, Kesem means magic in Hebrew, as you heard earlier in the story. And really, the magic of Camp Kesem is that it transforms kids. And that's why our symbol is the caterpillar, because we transform kids from caterpillars to butterflies by the end of the week. And really, we saw with Jackson the transformation that he went through from the beginning of the week to the end of the week. And we see that with our campers, but as, as well as our counselors. And everyone is just so impacted by the week. It's, it really is a magical week. And Jackson, everyone at camp picks out special camp names, and you chose the name B.A. as your camp name, which stood for Bad Attitude from uh, the old TV show, The A-Team. But you don't seem like you have a bad attitude at all now. Do you think you're going to be changing your name for this year's camp? Well, I don't know. Maybe like G.A. for Good Attitude or something. <laughs> but it's, it's not really that catchy as B.A. Yeah, yeah. So. And you told me um, when I talked to you for the story that you did not want to go to camp at all, but in the end you ended up having a fantastic time there. What would you say to kids out there who might be on the fence about going to a camp like this? Well, if you don't know if you want to go because you think it will be really scary and you're nervous, just try it out. It's really awesome because I really didn't want to go at first, but then once I got there, I'm like, this is awesome. It seems like you had a great time. And there's a special event this Saturday that's going to be raising money for Camp Kesem. Tell me about that, Katie. We are having a kids carnival at Gilda's Club in Middleton. And that is from 1 to 4 on Saturday the 2nd. We'll have games. There'll be food there. Tickets are 25 cents a piece for Gilda's members and 50 cents a piece for the general public. But it's a lot of fun. You don't have to have a parent with cancer or be affiliated with Gilda's or anything to come to this event. And it's a great chance to meet us and to see a great organization. And our camp, some of our campers will be there. BA will be there. So it'll be a really fun time. Well, thank you so much for being with us this morning. And best of luck with your event this weekend. Thank you. And the Camp Kesem Carnival is going to be on Saturday from 1 to 4 at Gilda's Club. Entrance is free and game tickets are 25 to 50 cents a piece. So best of luck with that and we'll be right back.